Hello and welcome everyone. Batman has had some impressive costumes and suits of armor over the years, but he might have outdone himself with his newest armor, which debuted in Justice League issue 24. That's saying something, as we've seen crazy color schemes and various power sources used by the Dark Knight in the past. But the World Forger recently introduced Batman to a new suit, one that is described as his final suit. Thing is, the actual abilities of the suit far outweigh the stylistic choices and they are incredibly deadly in the wrong hands. Unfortunately, they might even go for Batman as well, so let's get into it. But before we get started don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss an upcoming update. With that out of the way let's get started with the video. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. While half of the league is just trying to get back to their fifth dimension counterparts and Superman is still stranded in darkness, Batman is being given the full VIP treatment. It turns out the World Forger wants Batman to finish what his fifth dimension counterpart started, and Batman learns that he designed a chair from Element X that allows him to see into other people's hearts. The chair was designed so they could figure out who was on their side and win the initial war, but Batman took the idea further and ended up designing the final bat suit around the chair. It sent further than the chair and its abilities too, as it not only could see into people's hearts and minds but could also change them and rewrite them cell by cell. Batman figures out that mean the current Justice League in this universe did actually choose this destiny but had their minds and hearts altered by the final bat suit. Batman manages to repair the damage to the suit from its last battle and as his fellow leaguers return, he surprises them in the final bat suit, though he gives the impression that he's not on their side. The suit itself looms above the league, looking like a bat megazord in size and stature. The bat symbol is fiery gold, and that material shows up in the arms and legs as well, while the rest of the suit seems to be white with blue accents. The suit also has wings, and there's blue energy coming from the gauntlets and the shoulders. The suit was built to be the sun box, capable of allowing its user to see into but also changing people's minds. Independent of the life form size, the final bat suit can change minds down to the cellular level. So up until this point, the suit only seemed to only be the ultimate mind-altering machine. But as he fights the rest of the league we can see that the suit is capable of more. Apparently, the suit has reactionary adaptive capabilities, as in, it supplies Batman with whatever he needs to stop someone. Which makes sense seeing even normal mother boxes are capable of doing that. When Superman went to face Doomsday for the second time, the mother box he had with him equipped him with all kinds of weapons to give him more options. Mother boxes have all kinds of abilities. Here's a list, change the gravitational constant of an area, transfer energy from one place to another, sense danger, sense life, create force fields, rearrange the molecular structure of matter, absorb or project powerful shock blasts, create electro webs, control the mental state of a host, communicate telepathically with a host of other life forms, manipulate the life force of a host to sustain its past fatal injuries, open and close boom tubes, take over and control non-sentient machines, evolve non-sentient machines, merge sentient beings into a single more powerful being, sustain a life form in a hostile environment such as space, and they can do many more things. So all of these abilities were also part of Batman's final Batsuit. It has defense systems and attack mechanisms specifically designed with the League in mind, able to electrocute them for a temporary time via drones from or the suit itself. It's able to emit a powerful enough beam to trump a telepathic blast from Half Martian, Shane. Shane also was visibly knocked down from it. It's able to telepathically communicate with Superman located in a far-off galaxy. It's moved entire suns into the galaxy Superman was located. While it seems to be a pretty resilient mech armor, Hot Girl's NTH Metal Mace was able to slightly damage it, or at least enough for Batman to feel back in issue 25. We also know from issue 24 that Jera was able to almost destroy the suit, though it was still repairable by Batman in the end. Granted, it's not explained just how sterile so, in principle, it can take on god-level characters. I've seen in comics gods that were beaten to a mess, being healed by a mother box. But because godly power varies a lot in DC, I can't really tell you who exactly the suit can defeat and not defeat. And with that, we will bring this video to an end. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.